my name is Eva Lena Elving, and I'm a teacher in Malmö at Westerhamnen Skolan. And my subjects are math, science, technology, and English. Well, um, it's been uh, a while now. Um, it started uh, last year, about one and a half year ago, when I was looking for something, uh, someone actually, to help me teach the kids to program. And um, it turned out I know one wanted to do that. So my option was to learn it myself. And I was offered to uh, be involved in a project uh, which included uh, 10 classes in Malmö. And I was so fortunate that three of my classes and kids in the age of 12 to 13 uh, could join. So I had uh, 75 students. And uh, my problem was then that I had to learn to program to then be able to teach them. And uh, that's how I came into the CTC Createch um, project, which was great fun. Um, in the end, at first it was terrifying uh, because I thought it was would be really, really hard. Uh, as it is, it wasn't and it isn't. Uh, it's very well thought, thought up that how, how to learn, uh, how kids can learn and how we teachers can learn. So um, I had to go in the evenings four hours after having uh, worked already eight hours. Uh, so that was a bit tough. Uh, four times uh, in the autumn. And then I used my break at Christmas and Easter um to really get uh, to know uh, how to do it and then i just started and it turned out very well the kids loved it i loved it and i think we all know a whole lot more now Ooh, not uh, not to be afraid that's the main thing because i was as i said terrified like how on earth will I learn this? I can never remember all the code and all, all the new language as it is. Um, but um, that was wasted energy to be terrified because it isn't at all hard. It's just if you, if you just go into it, take one step at a time, like all the blocks. Block one, do all the exercises. Block two, do all the exercises. Block three, do all the exercises and you know it. It's not hard. And uh, if you have a problem, you can just Google it or go into the community and ask someone, how do you do that? And, and someone will, will answer. So um, that's the first thing I think that's the change for me is how confident I was then. That is not at all. And now, well, I'm not good at it, but I know I can manage. I can find out how to do it if I want to. Uh, first of all, do it, because it's great fun for you and for the kids, and it sort of is uh, like feathering your hat that you've done something that the other teachers haven't done, um, and you can manage. It's not hard. Uh, what you have to require from the school is the heads have to know that it will take time for you to learn. It will take time in school for you to prepare the things you have to, to, to use, and that you've got computers, that all the programs, that all the programs are installed, because that was my problem. I had some technical issues and that I couldn't sort out myself, and luckily I got some help, but it was always kind of nerve-wracking. Um, and then it, the fact is that you won't know everything. And the fact is that the kids' brains are much faster than at least mine. Well, I'm turning 68 next time. Um, so they will learn much faster than you will. And they find out things. And they can teach the other kids and you things that they find out. Um, so it's you learn together with, the, with your students, which I think is great. 
because we don't have the, all the answers. We never have in, in any subject. We don't know everything. And uh, so that was a great journey. Uh, the challenge is, is the equipment, and that you got the right parts, because uh, things like that are expensive. And not everyone in school uh, thinks that that is the money, uh, where the money should go. Uh, but this, you have to have the things, you can't just uh, talk about it or read about it, you have to do it. And then it's sometimes a gender pr uh, problem, because it isn't like that, but guys think they're much better than girls, and girls are perhaps a bit more timid about this, which was good with the processing and the Arduinos, because that evened everything out, because someone was a bit smarter, a bit more clever, or a bit faster in one thing, and then the other, um, someone else in something else. So um, that's the main things, I think, and that teachers are afraid uh, not to succeed, and they don't know everything. But you don't have to know everything. That is important, because you can't. Even the teachers at university, if they start teaching programming, the rest of the world have passed their knowledge in a half a year or a year. So what they teach their students is old stuff already. And that's the reality of today. So we just have to accept that as teachers in school, in ordinary schools as well. Well, I, I think since kids are, uh, well, uh, service they've made, they found out that about 50% of the kids learn by seeing or hearing, and the other half uh, by doing or touching. So if you just read about things, you lose half the class. Uh, so you absolutely have to do both. And I also think it's important, especially with technology, uh, that there are goals, uh, um, knowledge requirements that are specif specified. Uh, what are you supposed to know after this course? What are you supposed to do? What can you show that you know? Uh, otherwise, it'll just be a playground for those who like to tinker with things. And I think that is really important, that you yourself, what goals? What do I want the kids to show me? that they know after they've gone through this course. And then you, you, you set up your um, mm. classes, so you aim at that, more, at that goal in the end. And then you, you, you have to absolutely have theory, but you also have practical things to do. It's the logic of it the way it's uh, put together to make you, you learn one thing and then you go to the next step. And it's really easy to follow. And besides, uh, if, you, if you look at the code, every word, every new word is explained uh, and you've got tasks that you can do, that you can change. If you don't think of that yourself, you can, you can do different tasks and that makes you um, come up with ideas for your class, what you can want, want them to do. Um, and it works. There, are, there were some bugs, but that was fun because we had to uh, uh, look for why on earth isn't it working? Okay, um, the lead was uh, not in there and we didn't have that and, and so on. So that was really good. Uh, but it's so logical, it's so pedagog pedagogical. So it's really good. If everyone in class understood and could follow the instructions. Like half, half likes to do and tinker and they learn, actually learn, in, if they hold the thing, they learn more. Uh, they don't have to do it, they just have to hold on to it, that the tactical senses make them l learn things. And uh, I think it's the same for everyone. Give them every opportunity to learn. They listen to things, they watch things, they read things, uh, they listen to things, and they do things. I think that's really important in all learning, in all subjects. Well, I teach math, uh, science, uh, technology, and English, actually, also. So, uh, in math, 
what I found uh, is that they after we started with with the program courses uh, they tended to be more interested in solving a problem uh, or when the result wasn't correct they went back and checked what mistakes may I have made here uh, which they before weren't that interested in. Now they were used to, if it doesn't work, you have to check again and again and again. Do you have the right port? Do you have I done that? And so on and so on. Um, and that transferred to math, which was strange. And also math is logic. Programming is logic. What you put in is what you get out. Uh, it's not, it's really simple. And science, of course, everywhere now you use programming, you use computers, if it's in the food industry or whatever, um, everywhere, you have to be a bit uh, knowing about what, what uh, technology and programming, I think, to, to, to live today. And English, well, it is in English, and if you want to ask questions, that's the language to ask them in, and you get answers in English. And I think you could, in many uh, many subjects in school, like crafts, arts, uh, whatever, uh, you can use programming. Because you have an idea, you make a plan, and you execute it, and you, you can use programming to do it. What well, they thought it was great, uh, because... Um, what I found was that they felt, after the courses have finished, they felt very confident. Uh, they felt competent uh, in programming. I know that, and I can do that. And uh, one kid uh, went to, um, uh, with his older brother, who was going to in uh, college. Um, and at that college, they had an open day to, to, to get kids uh, to enroll in their programs. And they showed processing. And um, that kid said, oh, I already know that. Which was great fun for, for him and for the family as well. So I think they, they felt competent. They know how things, perhaps they can't do it now, but they know that they, if they wanted to, they could advance. And some kids have even advanced and done their own apps and things like that, which is great. Uh, which I couldn't do, never do, but they have. First of all, there has to be an acknowledgement that it is important. Because when things are important, they tend to uh, happen in schools. Uh, but we are very traditional in our way. It's hard to, to change things. Um, so you have to look at it, that we have to do it. And if school work it now says we have to do it, then we have to do it. And I'm looking forward to that because I think we need to do it. And that was my plan that before I finished as retired from school, the school, uh, West Ham School on, I, m I would have introduced programming because I thought I dragged the school into the 21st century. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> well, as I am retired, but I still work, um, I cling on to my work job because I think it's great fun to be a teacher. And I actually haven't been there. I've started late. Uh, I was 49 when I started a, a teacher school. And I started this program late, so um, what, what I'm going to do this spring is have another group of volunteers uh, for programming, after school curriculum thing, uh, and then we'll see next year, perhaps, because they don't have anyone to teach them programming. So, perhaps, we'll see. In processing, I, th I think it was important uh, that every student had their own computer. They had to do it. They had to, to draw a line. They had to um, find out about the pixels. Uh, they had to be able to do an, uh, a circle. Uh, and 
I also had goals for them that, for instance, they had to be able to, to draw a rectangle or a blue rectangle uh, that could move from left to right and figure that out. And that was good because then everyone took responsibility to learn. And when we had Arduinos, uh, they had to work in groups of three or four, and every student in that group had to know everything. So they had to know how to code, how to change the code, how to tinker with all the bits and put them together. Um, and they were responsible for each other. So everyone in the group, and that worked beautifully because I didn't have to do anything because they did all. And most of all, I told them that I don't have the patience to go around to everyone who shouts, please help, please help, please help. We have to help each other. If you've already done one thing and you're successful, you help the next student. And that worked beautifully. So that absolutely I'll do that again if I, if I have that big classes again. I was surprised. I, I hadn't thought uh, that much about it beforehand, but uh, afterwards I asked them. I, I, I did kind of a survey on the three classes, and approximately the one third liked processing best the best, and one third liked Arduino's the best, and one third liked both. And I was really happy about that because then, then they liked bits of it. And they thought everything was fun, but they liked one thing more than the other. And it was about equal one third of each. They got it. They got uh, uh, the way programming works. Um, and yeah, and they got really interested. And it, it, it like, yeah, they got it. And some had to work at it, like me, uh, but got it in the end. But that was fun because they got a new interest and, and, and some students weren't that brilliant perhaps in science, but in technology they shown. Well, I just made a play on CTC uh, for the kids, like when they have a problem with the code or with the program and, and didn't work. So C, check, T, teacher, C, classmate. So that's the way to ask. You, you ask yourself first, then classmate, and then the teacher. Just a pun. 